In this video we're going to be talking about creating text formatting and font changes in Microsoft Word 2007. The obvious way to change a font is simply by selecting the paragraph you'd like to change, going up into the font menu here, and then scrolling through the recently used fonts or the lower font or all fonts. You can see the instant change to the right on the screen. It's also possible to create instant changes to the layout of the font by clicking, for example, bold, italic, underline, strike through, subscript, superscript. And then you can also create case changes here. For example, sentence case, lowercase, uppercase. You can capitalize each word. That's to say, create the, uh, make the first letter a capital. Uh, and you can also toggle the uh, uppercase, lowercase, and lowercase to uppercase. If you'd like to create a, a change in the paragraph uh, alignment, you can click here, for example, to align the text to the left, here to centralize the text in the page, here to justify to the right, and here to give nice crisp margins on um, both sides. This icon here is actually for adjusting line spacing. So, for example, if you need to double space, just click on 2 here, and you can see everything is double spaced. It's worth pointing out that by uh, right mouse clicking you can actually access this little menu here where you can create changes to your text to your um, font uh, and you can increase the size and decrease it incrementally as a shortcut rather than using the home tab if for example you're working in another uh, section of the program if you need to uh, change the text position relative to a picture for example it's actually necessary to change the parameters of the picture relative to the text so what I mean is if you click on the picture here, you'll see the picture tools tab here has appeared with format. And if you click on the format here, you can then adjust the position of the, uh, of the picture relative to the text by clicking here. And you can see it moving throughout the document according to the icon uh, you choose. It's actually also possible to bring it to the front, send it to the back. But the text wrapping is most useful when arranging pictures relative to text. So, for example, you can uh, click on tight here to give a nice um, alignment here where the text will run very close to the sides. You can click here and actually make the um, picture appear behind the text, as you can see so. And you can obviously make it appear in front of the text and uh, completely override uh, the text.